What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. Hope you're doing well, feeling great, and enjoying freedom. It's a great day to have a great day. Today we're going to be talking about why the government removed silver from our coins. We're going to be doing a little bit of a Q&A, so I have some other questions we're going to be answering as well. We're going to get into it, but really quick, just in case you're new, make sure to subscribe for daily videos, subscribe to my second channel for weekly videos, get yourself some DYDSS merchandise to help support the channel, come and join us in the Precious Metals VIP Club, and of course, don't forget to go and get your two free stocks by downloading Weeble and funding your account. Everything is linked in the description. So today is Sunday, February 6th, 2022. As I'm filming the video, it's actually Thursday, February 3rd, which means I have no idea what the spot price is going to be by the time the video comes out. So head on down to the comments and let me know the date and time you're viewing the video and what the current spot price is for you. I'm always curious. Okay, so in today's video, I'm going to be running through a short list of questions and I'm going to be answering them as quickly as possible. But these are some questions that stood out to me and I try to do this every single week. So if you have any questions that you would like to ask or be featured in a future Q&A video, head on down to the comments and ask away. First question we have is coming from James asking me, I have a dealer in New Jersey that sells weighed silver at 90% of spot price with no tax. Is this a good deal? Well, first and foremost, right off the bat, that sounds like a good deal. I'm assuming it's a good deal. You didn't 100% specify how much silver we're talking about here though. So I'm just gonna go ahead and assume you're talking about $1 face value of 90% silver. So let's just say the spot price is about $24. 90% of that should be $21 and change. So if you're able to get four silver quarters or 10 silver dimes or two 90% silver half dollars for about $21 and change, I would say that's probably pretty good. Plus, no tax, even better. Plus, New Jersey, represent. Next question is coming from Paul, asking me, I'm heading towards slab Morgan and Peace Dollars. Why don't you ever show slab silver? Well, the short answer is I don't have any slab silver to show. It's nice, it's cool, I just have never really been interested in slab silver coins or rounds or bars or anything like that. It's just not really my thing. They do carry a little bit higher of a premium than in my opinion they probably need to. For a collector, it probably makes sense. I'm personally not a collector, therefore it doesn't make sense to me. But I understand the appeal, but at the end of the day, if you want to know why I don't show any, it's because I don't have any to show. Next question is coming from Adam, asking me, what is the best way to make money from investing now? I don't know why he's yelling at me. And I don't know what the answer to that question is. I don't know exactly what he's looking for. If he's looking for a stock pick, I have no idea. That's what the answer is because I can't give specific advice like that. I personally believe that real estate will always be king. So that's probably the best way to go. It's not the way I have gone yet because I don't have the currency to get involved. Index funds are probably another fantastic way to go, but at the end of the day, I think the best possible way to invest is by starting a business and consistently investing in that business. But it can't just be any business. It can't just be some nonsensical business. It needs to be a scalable business and something that's going to be relevant 5, 10, 15, 20 years in the future. That's my opinion. Take it for what it's worth. The next question is coming from M. Reed, asking me, is there any way I can send you a microphone without 10 layers of insulation on it? I don't exactly know what that means. I'm just going to go ahead and assume that it's your way of saying my audio is bad. I will be honest, every single video is filmed by me. Every single video is edited by me, which means every single video is watched and listened to by me before it's even released. I think the audio sounds perfectly fine. I have no issue with the audio. I guarantee you everyone listening right now can hear every single word I am saying. So I don't think that there's anything wrong with the audio. Uh, but to answer your question, in theory, you could send me a microphone. I do have a PO box. I leave it in the description, but I'd really rather you not send me a microphone. So don't worry about doing that. The next question is coming from, I believe it's pronounced Melina 
asking me, did someone send you all the precious metals? No, no one sent me all the precious metals. 99.9% .9 of the precious metals that I owned have been acquired by me simply by converting my dollars into them. 0.1% of the precious metals that I own were sent to me as gifts. I've been stacking for a little over four years, which means I have been making videos and documenting my silver stacking and gold stacking journey for a little over four years. And at the very beginning, a handful of people did send me a handful of coins, rounds, and bars. I'm grateful, thankful, and appreciative of that. And I believe it was their way of helping me kickstart the stack. And over the course of the last little over four years, a couple people have sent me a couple coins, rounds, and bars on the occasion, just here and there, usually with a letter attached that says something along the lines of thanks for all the videos or thanks for the entertainment or thanks for this or thanks for that. So I take it as a tip for the good service, but in no way, shape, or form does anybody need to send me anything. I have never encouraged that and I would never encourage that. And then the final question we have is coming from Stern13 asking me, is it a possible reason why the 1965 half dollar and later had only 40% silver because the Vietnam War breakout in 1964? War is expensive could be a reason. It's a good question, and if I had to assume, I would probably say that that did absolutely have a lot to do with it, but quick little backstory just for the people that do not know. Coins, pre-1965, quarters, dimes, and half dollars were 90% silver. And then there was the Coinage Act of 1965, which removed silver from quarters and dimes and reduced the amount of silver in half dollars from 90% to 40%. I don't know why they chose 40%. To me, it would have just made more sense to remove silver from all of the coins altogether and just be done with it. And that 40% only lasted from 1965, 66, 67, 68, and 69. And then in 1970, it was removed altogether. So just a few short years of 40% silver, just exclusively with the half dollars. I don't know why they chose 40%, and I don't know why it lasted such a short period of time. But to my understanding, in the 60s, the demand for silver really started to go up. And this was because silver was becoming more and more in demand and more and more used in all of these different industries. And when the demand goes up, so does the price. So from the government's perspective, it probably doesn't make sense to have money inside currency if the money is worth much more than the currency says that it's worth. For example, this coin right here, this is a... 1964 Kennedy half dollar. So this is a 90% coin right here. And being that it's a half dollar, this is roughly one third of a Troy ounce of silver. Now off the top of my head, I'm not sure what the spot price was during the time, but in the 60s, for this right here to be roughly the equivalent to one third of a troy ounce of silver and being that it's a half dollar coin aka worth 50 cents by the time the spot price of silver goes up to the point where a third of the of the spot price a third of a troy ounce of silver would be more than 50 cents at that point it doesn't make any sense anymore for this right here for them to claim that it's worth 50 cents, but because of the silver content to be worth 60 cents or 70 cents or a dollar or two dollars or three dollars or whatever the case may be. For example, we can use present day prices if you want. Spot price of silver is about 24-ish dollars, 22, 23, 24, somewhere within that range. Again, I'm filming this video a couple of days in advance. So one third of a troy ounce of silver, what would that be? Seven dollars, eight dollars or something like that? This is a 50 cent coin. This is supposedly, evidently, only worth half a dollar. Yet at the same time, it's worth multiple dollars. It's worth seven, eight dollars. Plus a premium, which brings it up to even more dollars. So from the government's perspective, it makes perfect sense why they removed money from our currency. The money started becoming more and more and more valuable. Or, 
should we say, the currency became less and less and less valuable. Hence why this is now worth seven or eight dollars. Just something to think about. And by the way, while we're on the topic of 90 and I guess more specifically 40% silver, which by the way, when I said 90% half dollars were roughly one third of a troy ounce, 40% half dollars are roughly one seventh of a troy ounce. So it would take about seven of these to equate to about a troy ounce of silver. That's one way you can calculate it. Take the spot price, divide it by seven. That's how much each one is roughly worth in dollar bills. But since we're talking about 40% silver, I wanted to quickly explain that I personally, I'm not a fan of 40% silver. It's really not my thing, and I've never, ever converted my dollars into it. The reason I have all of these right here is because I found them, believe it or not. I had this job one time where I had to remove a bunch of junk from somebody's house or multiple people's houses. And they had told me that they already took out everything that they're keeping. They just need help removing everything that's going to get thrown away. And they told me, if you stumble upon something that you want, you're more than welcome to take it. You can keep it. It's all yours. Because if it's in the house right now, we don't want it. And surprise, surprise, while I was removing a bunch of stuff from the house, I found this little beat up little bag. Pretty rough shape. And it was full of Kennedy half dollars, mainly 40% half dollars, like all of these right there. And also this one right here, it just didn't really make sense to have. It was just the odd one out. It didn't fit on screen. So a bunch of 40% and a small handful of 90% Kennedy half dollars. So I stumbled upon them. I was told that I could keep what I found, and I found them, so I kept them. That's the only reason that I have these right here, but to be honest with you, even though I would never pass up free silver, which is what this was, and even though I would never pass up silver at a really good price, I would convert my dollars into 40% silver if the premium made sense, if it made far more sense than to just go with 90%, I would get some 40% but I would rather not. I would rather not stack 40%. I would rather stay as far away from 40% as possible. And the reason for that is just because of space. Focusing on 40% silver could eventually lead to a space problem. 40% silver, these coins right here, each one of these, 40% silver. You know what that tells me? It tells me that 60% of the coin is not silver, which means it probably takes up more room than it needs to, considering that more than half of the coin is not even what I'm looking for. I'm looking for the silver, and it just has, in my opinion, too low of a level of silver for me to focus on at this time, but that's just my opinion. That I, I've That's always been the case for me. I've never really been too big into 40% silver. Again, I would never say no to it if I found it, and I would never pass up an opportunity if one presented itself to me. But at this time, I am lasered in on the 90%. I want you guys to head on down to the comments and let me know anything and everything related to today's video topic. If you have any questions for me, ask away in the comments. And if there were any questions asked in the video that I answered that you would like to extend on, you're more than welcome to head on down to the comments and extend away. If you guys enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button. Subscribe if you're new. Subscribe to my second channel for weekly videos. Get yourself some DYDSS merchandise to help support the channel in the biggest possible way. We got t-shirts, hoodies, stickers, and coffee mugs in a bunch of different designs. DYDSS store linked in the description. Come and join us in the Precious Metals VIP Club for giveaways every single month. Live streams multiple times a week. Deal alerts every single day. You can watch all of my videos early and commercial free. I just posted a brand new adventure vlog just yesterday, and there are a ton of other perks as well. VIP club link in the description. And of course, last but not least, go and get your two free stocks by downloading Weeble and funding your account. That's all you have to do. They'll give you two free stocks just for doing so. And then if you refer three friends before February 10th, they will give you at least $150 worth of Amazon stock for free with the chance of winning all the way up to $3,000 worth of Amazon stock for free. Weeble link in the description. 
And I want you guys to head on down to the comments and let me know once again. If you have any questions for me, if you'd like to be in the next Q&A video, if you want one of your questions answered, ask away in the comments. But if there's anything that you would want to extend on, any question that was asked, any question that I went through in today's video, if you would like to add on to my answer, you're more than welcome to do so in the comments. Head on down to the comments and let me know anything and everything related to today's video topic. Thank you guys so much for watching. See you tomorrow. Don't you dare stop smiling. Peace.